36, monitor tower 126.6. Nose to tail, nose to tail, no side by side. We're seeing side by sides and we're going to have to break you out. I don't want to do that. We're going to have to run out of time here to get everybody into the show. Give us a good spacing for me. Rock your wings and welcome to Oshkosh. Those are the words every pilot wants to hear as they approach Fisk, the transition point on your way into Oshkosh. I'm sure that many of you have heard the ATC audio, but have you ever been to Fisk to see the air traffic controllers? I caught up with John from Fly at Mike Alpha and we took a drive out to Fisk to watch the controllers in action. The first challenge was going to be to find the controllers. Just follow the planes, right? How hard could it be? Finding the planes was easy, but finding the location of the controllers on the ground was a little trickier as the maps show you where Fisk, the tracking point is, but not where the controls are positioned. Excellent job, sir, on a tower, 118.5, I got another low wing at half mile south of Fisk. Turn right, enter a left base, runway 36. They're everywhere! High wing, with the wing wing, all over the right zero nine zero for left base. We decided to start by cross-referencing visual tracking points, like the railway track, with the aircraft we could see and with the aircraft that the controllers were talking to. When we didn't have any luck with that approach, we had to come up with some creative ideas to try and narrow down our search area to find the controllers. This is insane. I got a low no low wing, maybe 2300 feet, that's directly over rock your wing. Good rock, sir. I need you to turn left, go northbound. We got one runway operation. All aircraft inbound. We got a single runway operation. Um, so the space we have, it's uh, here no good. The high wing, direct over fifth. High wing, direct over fifth. Rock your wing. Good rock, sir. Turn right. Turn right, heading zero right. nine zero. Can we, can we see someone rocking? I need to run right overhead now. Left turn. All aircraft. We are one line. I feel like a storm chaser. I know. I'm the same thing. It's as far as the eye can see. Do you have the procedure pulled up? Do you hear that? I do, yeah. I've got the uh, no down. So the strip is right south of what Fisk is. So we need to go back and turn left. So we got uh, the highway directly over this turn right, two eight pounds, one eight. Watch this group here come in and listen for the radio calls that correspond. I've got several airplanes that are really close to this here side by side. Guys, it's not going to work. If you help yourself out, go ahead. Here's your next point. Take care of the RV directly over this. Rock your wing. RV, nice rock. Turn right. You got someone rocking their wings? I got a Cessna east of this. I got a Cessna east of this that's going right to the airport. Rock your wing. I got a Cessna east of this. Turn right. Cessna, turn right. Do we found? Enter that left base runway 36. Everybody that's inbound for runway 36. Everybody that's inbound for runway 36 on that left base runway 36. Okay, Frisk is right here. Right where this guy is turning now. So they're in, in the fields over here somewhere because that guy is rocked. So. Oh, now they're figuring it out. Osh arrival if you're on your way to Osh and still on the ground, wait 45 minutes to depart due to traffic saturation. <laughs> no get help shit, guys. What did you think was going to happen? A little bit of background info if you didn't go into Oshkosh in 2019. The weekend before the show started, which is when most of the aircraft come in, a huge storm passed through, flooding the grounds and turning the grass parking areas into mush. They had to stop arrivals for a day just to let it dry out before aircraft could come in, which created a huge backlog. When they finally opened it up to arrivals again, there was a huge stampede, which is what we're seeing now. While we're driving around trying to find the controllers, I'll give you a quick explanation on Fisk. Fisk is a tracking point about 10 k's west of Whitman Airport that's part of the Fisk arrival procedure, which is just one of the arrival procedures into Oshkosh. There's also arrival procedures for turbines, warbirds, seaplanes, helicopters, ultralights and IFR aircraft. The Fisk arrival starts at Ripon, where aircraft have to get themselves into a single file with sufficient spacing and then follow the train tracks northeast to Fisk. There's no overtaking, no side-by-sides and no S-turns permitted. In order to reduce frequency congestion, there's no check-in with the controllers like you normally would with ATC. The controllers will contact you first, referring to you by aircraft type and colour, and you don't even need to read back the instructions. As you approach Fisk, you'll be issued a runway assignment, tracking instructions, and a tower frequency. 
unless you haven't spaced yourself correctly. In that case, you may get an instruction to turn out of the approach, go back to Ripon and try again. It's great to watch from the ground and it's very different from what you'll experience in the air. Flying in, you'll just hear one controller who doesn't stop talking most of the time. On the ground, you'll see that it's actually a team of controllers. Spotters call the aircraft types and colors, while a couple of other controllers plan and manage the sequence. The controller on the radio then has to take in inputs from multiple people, translate the instructions into correct ATC phraseology, and then transmit it to the aircraft. When we get to the videos of the controllers, you'll see that they're listening and interpreting the next sequence of instructions at the same time that they're transmitting the previous set of instructions, which if you ever wanted to be a controller, that's an essential skill that you'll need to master. So that's the Fisk arrival in a nutshell. Remember that this is not an instructional video. It is only a summary of the procedures. And unlike this video, each year the procedures do change. So make sure you brief the most current and full procedures before you fly in. Where in the world are the controllers? <laughs> sure, they'd appreciate uh, that. <laughs> Richard has a brilliant idea. We're just going to give them a call on the radio and uh, see where they're at. As soon as yeah. we get a break in the traffic. See if they could drop a pin and text it to us. <laughs> so far they've eluded us. This, this seemed like a good idea at the time. Let's get in the car and drive to Fisk and check it out. Did Chris like, say that he was out here? Or? Okay, got a flight of four about two miles southwest of Fisk, or maybe down near Pickett. Are you guys a US Air Flight of Four? Alright, flight of flight of four is the next traffic to site. Yep, there's yeah. a flight of four. Flight of four. Alright, let's watch them for a wing rock. What's in this guy's yard here? Flight of four, you're going to three six. Uh how about uh X ray, you're going to three six, so start a nice easy right through. Do you think they would be wanna be in line? Like they wouldn't want to be on the side. Yeah. Here. Stop and ask for directions? Yeah. Don't be silly. Literally. I've got a couple RVs there. We're getting good reception from them. So here's the other thing, dude. Turn down the speed. That's well. You can see. Yeah, That's based on runway 36 and uh, tower 126.6 monitor there. Try it. Okay, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> totally not correct. <laughs> With the truck. I mean, come on, we have an air traffic controller with us. I can't even find other air traffic controllers. <laughs> All right, we have the secret hold we got the rail. location. We got the secret location. Uh, courtesy of Angle Attack. Thanks, Chris. Southwest of Fisk, rock your wing. Thank you. That's about a, that Cessna there that just rocked. Continue up a little bit further north. 
Just a half mile southwest of Fisk, rock your wing. Half mile from Fisk, rock your wing. Got a Cessna. Got a high wing Cessna, uh, about a mile southwest of Fisk, uh, actually directly over Fisk now, rock, rock your wings. Thank you. Got a high wing, uh, rock your wing. Okay, the high wing, continue to the northeast bound up the tracks and a right downwind for runway 27. I got a blue nose RV right behind him and to the right, rock your wings. Thank you, turn right, heading 090 and our left base from my 36. Behind him is a Cirrus. Cirrus, go ahead and turn left, it's not gonna work. Turn left, go westbound and rejoin procedure. Got a low wing up really high. Uh, yellow RV up high, start descending. Turn right, heading 090 and our left base from my 36. Directly over Fisk now, I want you to continue up the tracks for the uh, right now win, or is it the Cherokee? Cherokee, rock your wings for me. Good rock, good job. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know in the comments if you want to see some more ATC content as I've got some great ideas for some air traffic videos. There's still heaps more to come including flying trips in the US and Australia. So if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Is it a flight of two RVs then at this? Yeah, a flight of two. I'm going to call my base. My flight of two RVs are, I uh, make the right turn, do a right turn.